Welcome to JasperSoft on Cloud. My name is Alexander Stoykovich and I'm going to show you in this video how to create an Azure data source in Jasper Report Server. But before we get started, let's take a look at this prerequisites. Make sure that you have an Azure account and an active subscription. Make sure that you have a certificate created and uploaded to your Azure account and that you have the other part of the certificate, the PFX file available to upload to your Jasper Report Server have at least one Azure SQL database created in your account to get started with this. Now let's take a look at um, our Jasper Report Server instance. Uh, once you log into your Jasper Report Server, is it on premises or on um, a cloud? It doesn't matter, you can create an, an Azure data source. Go to your repository and first we are going to create a Azure certificate. This is very simple. You just pick a certificate from your local file system, uh, check the name and resource ID, and once you save the changes, the certificate is uploaded to the repository. Second step is to create a data source. You will need to pick from the list of the data sources the one that you need. Azure SQL is the one that we are going to create today. Now go to your Azure account and find your subscription ID. Typically you can find it on the homepage of your um, virtual machine. Going to paste it into uh, corresponding fields and select the certificate and enter the password. And I'm going to click find my Azure databases, which will uh, reveal the list of the databases which I have in my account. Um, once we, we have the list of this databases, we can go ahead and uh, test the connection of our data source. Sometimes it takes a little longer to proceed, but be patient and the list appears here. So once we click on the nodes of the tree, we can select the database and some of the fields will be populated here. So I'm going to fill up the rest of the fields with um, the username of the database and with the password. And once this is filled up, I'm going to press the button to test the connection. So as you see, our connection passed and I now can save this Azure data source in my repository. Once the data source is created, you can use it in various ways. You can use it in the web application, creating domains, then creating ad hoc views and dashboards, or you can also use it in the Jasper, JSS, uh, JasperSoft Studio. Uh, one more important thing, if your Azure data source does not connect to, to your database, uh, it sometimes it just needs to add an ingress uh, IP address. So if, if you see an error and it gives you a clue with the IP address, you just copy that IP address and paste in here, save changes, and your data source should work from that time. Thank you for being with us on this short video. We learn how to create an Azure data source. If you need more information, please go to communityjaspersoft.com slash documentation. Mm -hmm.